note to everyone, walk behind a truck, walk behind the vehicle when someone's in it so they don't honk the horn on you. Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. It is gorgeous, ow, truly spring. It's amazing and my hair is super staticky. <laughs> Just to prove that it is spring. So horses are naked and I'm excited about that. Today is gonna be a barn day. It's gonna be a horse day. I can't wait to get my hands on my girl. Today is Tuesday, so we're headed to the sales barn to see what they have there. In the olden days, like five years ago, pre-COVID at least, they had so many amazing things. Like, I miss how it used to be. Do you miss how it used to be, Sam? Yeah, I miss like, my meat guy. I miss the chicken guy. The chicken guy was my favorite. Oh, he I had everything. Chicken. Like. We have been going to the sales barn for years and years and years and we've had the bunnies, we've had chickens, we've had roosters, we've had, what else have we got there? We've got geese there we've before. Got puppies there. We had geese. We had a one acre property and it was laid out really nice. So like it was, it was, I love that property. It was my favorite property that we ever owned. And um, we had baby geese and we raised them up until they got like older and bigger and then they started honking and then. <laughs> We got rid of them. We rehomed them to a farm and we gave them to the farm and they were so grateful to have them. And Gabby played with those geese like, oh man, she grew up playing with every farm animal you could ever play with. And it was because of the guy from the sales barn. He used to like bring, I, there's so many videos of us going to this place. And it was even since the girls were younger and they had everything there. Like he had everything. Now this is like some sheep, some cows. But every spring, and usually the horses start to come in, or the miniature horses start to come in. So if there's a mini there, you better bet that it's going to return. If there's a mini there, you better bet it's staying right where it is, or no, somebody else is going to buy it. But anyway, we're headed there, see what they got. It's something that we like to do as a family. It's definitely hard to see them in transition, going from like their farm to little stalls while they're waiting their turn to go out and be auctioned off. But. We know it's just temporary and just such a short amount of time until they move on to their new home, but it's still worth it for us to go and to be able to see and interact with all those different kind of animals. All right, oh We're wow, that they one. have chickens and ducks this, this year. Can we get that big one? Uh, the big one? What kind is that? I don't know, but it's great. Wow, so you guys can't see because of the sun. But there are a lot of chickens. Yeah, black bear there. Oh, loves the Moran's there, and that's a pear? Yep. Wow, so they lay like dark ah. eggs. They lay like a chocolate egg. A chocolate egg, yeah. I have some eggs in my incubator that are that color. What color is it? What kind is this little bantam guy right here? Girl right here. Just a chicken. Just a chicken? And then some sex links. I hate sex links, sorry. What's this? Oh, it's a turkey? Yeah. Wow. Oh, and it's, okay, how much are your chickens? Oh my. Goodness. Wait, oh one? my goodness, you're really cute. Oh my goodness, how much are your puppies? All right, what kind of chicken are we gonna get? So let's get oh, the puff one. You want that one? Oh, okay, we're we wanted those. All right, so we're gonna get a couple, I don't even know if I have money, I have to go see. I might have to run to the store. A lot of these little food things are popping up. Grass-fed milk organic chocolate, that's cool. The meat guy, Sam's meat guy. I call you Sam's meat guy. Sam loves the sausages here. Well, yeah, we should get his contact information. So basically, we're buying chickens because they have like the breeds that we want that we haven't been able to get. Husky puppy, Oh my God. So he's like addicted to this whole husky puppy thing. So I had to phone like my contacts. I have a bunch of contacts. My sister has show huskies that she shows, and they're <laughs> awful. <laughs> they're amazing, but oh man. No, that's the next one I'm getting, so if you don't like it, you can I thought you were getting a bulldog next. Anyways, I had to phone oh. my connections and tell them like, hey, there are puppies here. And because we, gotta go we know people who there. like to rescue, rescue them before they get sold into puppy mills. It actually smells like bacon in here today. Does that smell like bacon? I feel like eating here. They have the cool, I'm gonna tell Sam. Oh, actually, I just spent all Sam's money. Yeah, he has no money. I got excited when I saw that they had the breeds that we wanted, and I ran to the car to get my purse, and there was no money. <laughs> spent it. Oh, like 12 good. bucks or something, so Sam had to give me all his money. So, nothing exciting. 
so if we get goats, if when we move, if we get goats, the Let only kind I want are Let pygmy goats. Let me in. <laughs> they are adorable. Let me in here. They look scared. Actually, that I would buy that one. It's so cute. So chubby. Oh, here comes the white one. Oh, these ones were clearly someone's pets. Oh, hello. Let me in. So when we get home, Sophie, you have to wash your hands because I know I always do. I don't want you touching Ellie until you like totally disinfect. But these are like they look like pygmy goats. This one especially, I feel like. <laughs> and it reminds me of Ellie. Any cheeky animal <laughs> reminds me of Ellie. Let me in. Get in. So what I was saying before is if you sell your pets, I'll like especially puppies, for a really low price, and then those of puppies. I managed to hurt myself. Those puppies out there were really cheap, and if you sell them for a really cheap price, then it could end up bad. So, I have like a whole slew of people that will buy them and rescue them and, and make sure that they like go to homes on like spay and neuter contracts and non breeding contracts. That's always been like a huge important thing to us. Hi, little thing. You're really cute. Can you help? <laughs> oh my gosh. So then they have these ones back here. These ones are cute. That one in the back is really cute color. All right, which ones? Pick one. You can have it. That one. Just joking. You can't just buy one, but I know. I, hey, these, this one's by the dock. These ones are really cute. No, I bet you have. No. no. I would take you home in a minute. It's a good thing we do not have a bigger farm house. right now. Yeah, this one. This one is my favorite. It is like so kind of cute. Kind of short you are really cute. But you know what? Sam could maybe fix up an area this summer. And maybe we could get two baby goats. Because you're my favorite. We're not getting puppies. Oh my gosh. No. Hello, sheep. <laughs> I'm so excited that somebody's here with animals today, like outside animals. That's my favorite thing about this place is when, is when they have animals for sale outside that aren't a part of the auction. Oh, oh my gosh. You're not supposed to let them lick your hands I'm because trying apparently not to. it kills them. It's really cute. Oh my gosh. Look at all of them. <laughs> How does it kill them? I don't know. So I got a message from some girl yeah. that said, "Don't let baby cows suck on your finger because it that will kill them." All right, thank you. Alrighty. All right, we got some you chickens. Can you carry this one? No, oh, you carry it. No, you carry it. Don't let any fall out. Listen, they're all gonna go falling. So, so. I need to get the hair out of my mouth. <laughs> Wrong side. Right. All right, let's no, go. You, oh no, there's no hair in my mouth. Literally, Sam always parks like so close. Sophie. Sam always parks so close, but literally the one day that we need him to park close, he parks so far away. Okay, so we're home with our new chickens. You can't really see. This one's a buff Orpington cross. But this is the box they gave us. Isn't that cool? It's just a regular box. And then they taped and stapled this thing to the front of the box. So... Anyways, we got four, we got two Easter Eggers. They're actually um, pure Americanas, and there was an Americana rooster there, and there was a, um, all right, so we got one black Cooper Moran, pure. We got two Americanas, pure, and then we got this Buff Orpington cross, which I've never had a Buff Orpington before, and I always wanted one. Okay, so this, this is our black Copper Moran. Oh my gosh, she has orange eyes. She's so, so sweet. She's so sweet. Oh my goodness. She has feathers on her feet. Yeah. So black. Oh my gosh. We have to get that off. So black copper morans often have feather feet. And she looks like she's got a little bit of scaly mite. So I'm going to treat that. She's so sweet. They said that she's last year's hen. Look at how cute. Oh, I love her. Okay. So the next one. We saw a guy at Horde Station carrying a chicken by its feet upside down, just carrying it to its to his truck. Just a lone chicken. 
gorgeous. You are gorgeous. Look at her eyes. So this is a buff Orpington cross. Don't pull her wing because she will fall out But my she head. is so cute. Look at her spots. I don't know what color egg she ha she lays, but the white. the first one lays a nice chocolate brown egg. Oh my gosh. She is so cute. Okay, so this is an Easter egger. Actually, it's it, it's not, not an Easter egger. It's a Americana. It's a purebred, Sophie. I thought I chose between a white one so, of these or her. I chose her because she's beautiful. She is really cute. She is so cute. And they these chickens are all really sweet. Really pretty. You need to get the ones so, that look like like they're gonna like they're dead. Cause then they're always the sweetest. Cause I got what? I got one. A while ago and she was white and she laid white eggs and she looked like she was gonna die but she was so sweet and she lived and she would just hop into your lap yeah that's so cute but anyway she's an americana she lays blue eggs she's a female and the females don't tend to have as big of cheeks as the males do all right so oh, <laughs> she is it. you behave she is the least friendly clearly she's gonna be the boss all of them have orange eyes yeah so she, i think he said she's an americana too but there's no way what did he say she was? She's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. Cause she's brown and I like this color of brown. Stop it. Okay, we gotta put this one. Wait. She has feathers on her feet too. I wasn't expecting to get chickens yet because it's still like, we still have snow on the ground and everything is messy and yucky and with the mud and stuff. But I actually was so surprised to find them there and I'm glad we got them. I'm so glad we got the Black Copper Moran. She I'm so like happy to have the Buff Orpington cross. She really is so cute. The horses are doing whatever they can to get grass. The snow is melting and our little driveway area is getting muddy. Mostly because Sam drives up here. I really, 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 really want to get into this tack room and get everything cleaned up. I really want to sort through these buckets and hang up what we're going to keep and what we're going to use and then get rid of the rest. I don't want to store stuff in buckets anymore. Hello, blonde ears. <laughs> Hello, blondie. Yeah, it's only Gracie. Only Gracie? Yeah. And a lot, I've seen a lot of people say like, that, wow, she needs a good brush. I hate having Penny and Chino out in the big field, but I've been getting the desire to put all the horses out in the big field. Honey can't because she'll go under the gate. Yeah, so I'm not sure Honey's ready yet. No thing. She's big enough yet. But also, I don't want the grass to wreck. So you guys know that we always spend a lot of time waiting for the grass to be the right height before we put our horses out there so they don't call it. It is gorgeous out here. I came down to clean the paddock. I'm excited. Actually, she's not that bad. I have them on like a little bit of a diet and I keep on telling Sam, Sam, don't give them too much. Don't give them too much. But actually, she looks okay. And it's kind of been like a gradual process. She still she's has a so bit smart. of a belly. I brought that ball down. Molly keeps bringing it up to the house. All right, okay. I'm going out there too. Actually, Willow looks good. And even the, the baby looks a little bit chubby, but she's not as chubby as she and looks. Half of its hair. It's hair, yeah. Like th that hair, when it comes down past their belly, yeah, it makes their belly. I'll show you. See how it gets lighter down lower? It draws attention down there and it makes it look like she's really fat, but she's actually not. Wow, Gracie be looking good. I've been loving the camera every morning when I wake up. I watch the horses every night before I go to bed. I watch the horses. We tried talking to them when we're, <laughs> when we're at the house. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> they freak out. They're like, what's happening? <laughs> Been feeling trapped down on the floor. I don't know what for. Feels like I'm gonna lose. Silence takes a hold. I can't let it go. Chain up, no one knows. But I won't let the stormy seas. Put me in open water, let me have my peace And leave me till tomorrow Wind into my sail Away from things I let go Floating on the way We go bottoms up We go all the way When you're feeling down Push the pain away We go bottoms up We go all the way And face the another day We go bottoms up she loves her. She's like, get away from me. <laughs> Everything in my soul 
One thing I've learned with horses is do the job when you're there and when you're thinking about it because if you wait, it will rain. If you wait one day, it will rain. That is the story of my life. We couldn't even bring the, the dogs down because it's so muddy. <laughs> I didn't get it. See, that's my problem. No, the door is open. Standing there. She's like, no. So, honey finally walks out the door, and Willow just like snaps at her. Watch, now she's gonna roll. She's looking for your blanket. She's like, I remember when I was here, and she was sitting with me. Look at how good Gracie looks. Wow. Now she just needs to grow. I love horses without hair. Your dog's been looking for you all over the house. Hi. All the whole time you're gone. <laughs> Don't you know that you're beautiful?